7 down to 15 volts AC, it goes through this uh, rectifier diode, it converts it to DC. And this is the DC positive, this is the DC negative. This is this 6 ohm indicates relay, which is electric changeover. This side indicates uh, never, this side indicates generator. Why the middle two thing indicates load that supplies to your house? So when never bring light, you know the relay normally use uh, coil. You normally use coil. Let's assume this this coil is 220 volts. Immediately never light comes in, this two pin will be automatically connected to the wire that leads AC current to the transformer. So Immediately will never bring light. That 220 volts supply to the coil of the relay. The coil will auto change the uh, pin on the relay. It will change from the generator to neighbor. So that's how the uh, system will work in that kind of application. So you will now do it in the way that when never bring light like that. You will have another relay that will auto change that we remove this connection from this PV module. That we link the connection to another charging transformer. You will do another charging transformer so that the charging system from the uh, national uh, power grid will make the device charge more faster at the little periods never bring light. So that's how you will assemble all those things in the housing. So at the end of the production, the system should look more well packaged. You can put tire under it, in which the system will be able to move on the ground when you want to uh, move it within the uh, little area in the house. So at the front, you will put ignition key. You will put a uh, meter, volts meter, to see the level of the uh, power isolator. When the power power isolator is charging, you will know. When you are using the system, the amount of voltage going through your load, decreasing from the power isolator you will be able to see on the screen. So those are the uh, functions, those are the messages that the, uh, the voltmeter will pass across on the finished uh, packaging. So now let's go to the calculations. If you want to now do 24 volts system, there is another of our appliance, like the one in this uh, workshop. Let me go show this uh, one in this workshop. Like the one in this workshop here. Like that one you are seeing, that one is 12, 24, and 36 volts. So that's 30 volts, 30 different type of voltage come out from that. So if you want to do that kind of application, the calculation is very, very, very simple. You know, when you have one PV module like this, another one like this, another one like this, this one produces 18 volts, this one produces 18 volts, this one produces 18 volts. Let's assume they all produce 18, 18 volts. And you have your, your power isolator like this. So this is your power isolator, this is your PV module. When you series them together, this one will give you, when you series them together, this one will give you voltage plus voltage plus voltage, which will be equal to voltage total. The voltage will sum up the currents remain the same, the wattage remain the same. 
But if you parallel them on this series, here will be the output. Here will be the output. But if you parallel this PV model together, this is the parallel connection. Why the connection will come out from one side? This will give you <coughs> voltage. Sorry, this will give you current plus current plus current, which will be equal to current total. In this connection, the current will sum up, the voltage remains the same. The wattage increase. Wattage plus wattage plus wattage, which will be equal to wattage total. So, that is the difference between a series and parallel connection on PV module. So, to now get the kind of application showing you to, to you the one in the workshop that we have all seen that we are using in the workshop which is that a uh, giant theory kva if you want to now do that kind of system it doesn't matter you use three different PV module to charge the system you can use two PV module to charge the system i will show you how to do it This is how to do it. When you go to market, from the previous uh, learning uh, you have learned through the uh, notes sent to you on the group chat in the WhatsApp, you have learned the various type of solar cell that is in the market. You have learned about uh, uh, monocrystalline, multicrystalline, silicon. Uh, you have learned about a uh, polymer solar cell, organic solar cell, same thing solar cell. You have learned about the poly, polycrystalline silicon and monocrystalline silicon. If you go to market, you will check the main place at the back of the solar cell. You will see the maximum voltage from there 